All right, guys, we are back. Welcome. If you uh, missed the first episode of the Dragonhold DLC, be sure to check the link in the description to the playlist. Everything should be all organized and ready to go on your own time. Just go watch that. So anyway, we are continuing on finding the boat and we'll see how it goes. So just keep in mind, this is day one when everyone else is trying to play as well. So this random lag, that's probably it. I didn't know flying objects could be... Uh... Oh, we killed the person in charge. <laughs> it's fine. Remove that wheel lock or we'll never sail out of here. It is good to be home. Boy, we got it. Reinforcements arrive. Excellent point. Hey, Walker, get us out of here. Oh, I don't know how to drive a boat. YOLO, I guess. I told you the captain would get the pounce back. I heard what happened from the crew. I'm glad you were there to help recover the pounce. I don't think Zaji would have handled the loss of his ship very well. Speaking of Zaji, did he agree to sail you to the island? I'm glad to hear it. I knew Zaji wouldn't let you down. I'm coming with you. If this dragon is going to attack Senshal, I want to help defeat it. Besides, I'm sure you could use an extra hand. I'm good with a bow. Look, I'm aware of the risks, believe me. But this city is my home. I can't just stay behind and hope you stop this threat. Not when I can help. I won't stand by while my father and friends are in danger. Guess the captain got the power. Practically. You're competent, I'll give you that. <laughs> Enough to slay a dragon. <laughs> okay. We'll see. The odds don't look good. Someone on the... Don't actually care what the crew has to say now that we've secured a vessel our next step is to infiltrate the dragon's lair Zaji will stay on his ship in case we need to make a quick retreat Casca on the other hand has asked to join our hunt she wishes to protect her home, she should have that chance. Once we reach the island, we'll search for the dragon. Luckily, we have the Horn of Jadari to help us fight the beast. Before I made my way to elsewhere, I searched Dragon Guard sanctuaries for weapons and wisdom. There, I learned about the Horn of Jadari and how it was stolen by the dragon Veloxen. I found Veloxen's lair, slew the beast, and took back the horn. A dragon horn immense power its sound forces dragons to fall from the sky it should give us a great advantage in battle that said we may also find more resistance than a dragon on the island another ship was seen heading toward the island I'm not sure if its crew are friend or foe but we must be prepared for the worst we can set sail immediately or perhaps you would like to take a moment to become familiar with the crew very good. Let's go. Why do I have to drive? Actually, like... I wonder how difficult it is to drive a boat in real life. I feel like it'd be cool, though. Less traffic. Let's All right. <laughs> Judging by that docked ship, we are not the only ones who have business on this. There's a Dragon Guard proverb. Prepare your counter before the blow. In other words, if they swing at you, be ready to swing back. I also recommend we split our forces to cover more. I spotted a cavern northeast of here. Cavern? Scout. Got it. Alia, Casca, you're with me. Fight back? Stay Got it. Close and prepare to fight. I'm always ready to fight. Just keep an eye on the little one. I can take care of myself. Some scale. 
else this gate won't budge. Does anyone see a lever? Got you, fam. Good to see you, warrior. Thanks for the assistance. Uh. No. Imagine one guy actually doing all this by himself. This looks so familiar from the uh, main elsewhere. Damn this gate. Look above us, the dragon. Prepare yourselves. Got this. Who are these people, and why are they attacking us? They are enemies to be defeated. Nothing else matters. These banners, the motifs. There's no mistaking it. This is a dragon god sanctuary. How dare a dragon desecrate these hallowed halls? Well said. I was able to track the dragon's movements. It should be just up ahead. Ailey and Casca have agreed to guard this hall while we move forward. Be prepared, little one. I can smell them coming. How many? Where are you, vile beast? Show yourself! Prepare to meet your end! The horn didn't work. How? Uh, of course not. Failure. That's my horn. Tell me how you came to possess it. My companion will speak with you, dragon. <laughs> make one wrong move. Yeah, you know what? He'll My talk to you. I am Nathalar. I do not fear you, hunter. If you seek a battle, understand that it will be to the death. I would rather talk, though. Where did you get my horn? Zukorov. Ah, so it was Valoxin who hid it from me. Hmm. To protect our kind from the horn's power, no doubt. Such an honorable fool. And why do you seek to kill me? Are you one of Latvulan's thralls? Hmm. My oldest foe, a dragon of great power and evil intent. He gathered a cult to do his bidding and subjugated our brothers to his cause. Those who oppose him die. He plans to destroy this land and me along with it. Why would I attack the Kaz city? It means nothing to me. Only Latvulan matters. Hmm. You have dispatched many of my brother's followers, so I shall spare your lives. You may even keep my horn. I have no need of it. Okay. Hold! This dragon means us no, no harm. harm. Did we come all this way for nothing? That's still to be determined. For now, let's
let's spread out and see what we can find. Well, I certainly didn't factor this into my plans. The Dragon Guard were very clear about their dealings with dragons. Hunt them, slay them, use their parts. Yet this Latvalon seeks to destroy all of Tamriel. If Nathalar wants to stop that, I'd say we have a common cause. As the Red Guard proverb tells us, if we share an enemy, let our blade strike as one. I may not like it, but Nathalar possesses knowledge about Latvalon that we just don't have. And the might of a dragon at our disposal isn't something to toss away lightly. Yes, I'd rather have Nathalar on our side than against us. Our mission was successful, my friend. It just didn't end as we expected. We secured passage to the island, we found the dragon, and we made sure Sanchal was safe. At least from this potential threat. Not bad for a day's work. We also need to learn more about this dragon, Latvulan. If it does indeed wish to destroy all of Tamriel, then an alliance is our best way to end that threat. I'm just glad I have your support in this. Good point. Your help has already been invaluable. If we're to fight back against Latvalon, we'll need more than a single dragon. We'll need an order dedicated to eradicating this threat. The time has come to reform the Dragon Guard. I do. The crew of the Perfect Pounce already helped us on one dragon hunt. I'd like you to see if they join us for many more. Speak to Zaji and see if he and his crew want to join our order. Let's hope Zaji takes our offer seriously. He may find it hard to believe that we want his crew to join the Dragon Guard. In fact, I'm having a hard time believing it myself. But by lucky, we need them. I've been far too busy. Fighting this dragon invasion has left little time to socialize. Ooh, that thing is like that option right there is kind of story spoilers. I'm not certain where Lyris is, truth be told. Kasura told me that she visited the Abbey, but departed soon after. And as I've said, I've been quite busy. I do plan to find her eventually, if only to make sure she's doing well. Zaji knew his gut was right. Only a truly great warrior could tame a dragon. Do you suppose the creature will let us ride it? Hmm? No, 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 no. How best not to ask. Tishman <laughs> would not want to be rude. <laughs> really? <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> Who wouldn't want the daring Zaji by their side? The offer is tempting. Whoever defeats these dragons will have their names sung by moon singers for generations. Zaji is not one to hesitate, Walker. Not when a stranger asks him to sail to a dragon's island. And certainly not when that same stranger offers glory and fame. The crew of the Perfect Pounce will join your Dragon Guard. Hmm? Ah, yes. <laughs> Zaji will speak to the crew. However, there are two crew members you may wish to speak with personally. Dirge Traptor, the Imperial with a weasel face, and the beautiful Chisbari. Their particular talents may prove interesting. The Dragon Guard Key! Who's a good for nothing loud now, mother? Ah, uh, but you must be busy with the dragon, no? Zaji will speak to the crew on your behalf if you do not have the time to spare. Leave it to Zaji. Dirge Traptor has more book smarts than the rest of my crew combined. Now, that's not saying much since most of my crew can't read. The Dragon Guard wrote many things, yes? 
Perhaps he can help you read them. Well, Dirge has an awful lot of contacts. He always helps us figure out who we can trust and how to avoid those who mean us harm. Uh, maybe he can help keep track of our enemies in some fashion. Ah, she's Vari the Chipper, as she is known. You'll see why as soon as you hear her lovely voice. Aside from Casca, there's no one more dependable aboard the Pounce. Give her a task, and she'll get it done, yes? Nice. <laughs> Zaji has not a single doubt, not a one. We may be just smugglers to you and the bearded one, but our hearts sing for adventure. They will all take up the call, this one is sure. Life on the seas is not easy, Walker. You must be able to adapt at a moment's notice if you wish to survive its many dangers. Storms, attacking ships, sea serpents. The Pounce's crew will learn to navigate the dangers of dragons just as readily. Of course, Zaji is their captain after all. This one is confident that his crew will become the greatest dragon guard to ever walk the sands of elsewhere. It's just a matter of time. Same. Alrighty. Uh, let's... Do I care about talking to the crew? Not really. I'll do it. Our mysterious crew has departed. Yeah, I don't care, actually. <laughs> I can't. They... Where is he? Okay, does that mean we go back here? What are you doing? You might feel like I'm missing something. Nathalar and I have come to an agreement. We'll work together to defeat Latvalan, but only that. After our battle is won, Nathalar will peacefully depart from these lands. Now, what did Zaji say to my proposal? Come back to the. Excellent. 
I'll meet with him and his crew to discuss the particulars. Oh, we got another skill point. For aiding me in the establishment of our new Dragon Guard, accept this reward. Oh, and talk to Nathalar when you have a moment. He requested your help with a small matter. You are wise to ally yourselves with me. Lot Vulan will not stop until Tamriel is destroyed. He has raised an army and forced my brothers to join his crusade. Those who refuse, die. He... A dragon's words have power few mortals understand. When we swear an oath, we are bound by it. That is our way. The dragon Yagrandu vowed to aid me in a time of need. We must seek him out and remind him of his oath. I do, but I do not know where he hides. I leave that task to you, as the Dragon Guard of old were known to be accomplished trackers. Seek the aid of a companion who knows this land well, and let them guide you. Now go, Hunter. Find Yagrandu. Finding Yagrandu requires a test of skill rather than mere bravery. I am curious to see how you and your companions fare. Yagrandu ran afoul of a powerful dragon hunter in a time before the Dragon God. I found him, injured and cornered, and offered my aid, uh, for a price. Knowing that his life was forfeit, he begrudgingly agreed. Okay. My kind call it a sosmere, a blood allegiance. It is an unbreakable bond, stronger than any vow uttered by a mortal. Yagrandu is bound to pay his debt by a magic older than any you know. If you find him, he will join our cause. Talk to my companions again. It's We're part of the Dragon like we God just did this. It's not stealing. I think we should ask before putting them on. But it looks so good on you. Look what we found, Walker. Zaji has to say, the Dragon Guard certainly has style. Though this one did decide to make a few alterations. Now, what's our next move? What does our dragon friend have up his scaly sleeve? A missing dragon, huh? Then you'll want to head to Kenarthi's Breath Temple. The priests there can find all sorts of things. If your cause is just, I'm certain they wouldn't mind helping the noble dragon guard defeat a great evil. South of Black Heights, Zaji's childhood village. Just follow the ringing of the bells, yes? You can't miss it. Zaji will meet you there? Uh, yes, of course. Uh, this one is your resident expert, after all. He just did not realize that his first Dragon God mission would take him back to Black Heights. He hasn't visited since. Well, he has never visited. Alright, we're going it's to seven. the temple. Black Heights. And I'm coming with you. What? You don't trust Zaji to handle this? Not in the slightest. Do that so far away. Uh, side quest. Guess we're gonna have to ride there.
actually where is that really the next main quest all the way out there another ship went down Wonder where this path leads. Oh, maybe not. That's gonna be a no. Unless you can cross. Oh, easy. Shut up. Oh. How many more achievements there are for doing dragon dailies here? Way shrine. Get everything done eventually. Now, how to get in? Oh, where all the people are. That makes sense. Genatis Bread Temple. Home to sweet winds and pleasant chimes. Zaji, I don't like your tone. Is there something you're not telling us? <laughs> well, uh, this one may not have left home on the best of terms. Oh, I'm sorry, Zaji. I didn't mean to pry. Do you want to wait outside? Lovely, Aelia. Your words are as a soothing balm. With you by Zaji's side, he can do anything. Let's venture forth. Just open, all right. Cool. Oh no! Oh no! 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 Mother, it's been so long. Out! Out! That be simple. You disrespect your Nazi with your very presence. Please, this is important. We're trying to save all of elsewhere. Then this one will speak with your companions. As for you, out. Zaji will. Um, Zaji claims you seek to save elsewhere, yes? Tedali doesn't believe anything that comes out of that insolent cop's mouth. <laughs> but you should not be judged for his failings. Why have you come here? A noble quest. Unfortunately, this temple will be of little help. We lost one of our sacred temple bells many years ago. We have not been able to call upon Kanathi's guidance ever since. Tadali's Jekosit of a son stole it. That is why Zaji is no longer welcome in this temple. Still, Kanathi shows grace in all things, even betrayal. If you find the bell and return it, this one will search for your dragon. Once you return the bell, Tedali will call the winds of Kanathi to lead you to what you seek. Should all go well, they will take you to this dragon. 
This is a place of worship dedicated to Kanathi, goddess of the winds. She fills Kariti sails and guides our ships to safe harbor. She carries the souls of the departed to the sands behind the stars and leads our heroes to glory. We pray to Kanathi to share her knowledge, for all of Tamriel feels the caress of her winds. We train to hear her words in the ringing of our sacred bells. Through them, we can find that which is lost. So you must get Zaji to return the bell. Why Zaji would perform such sacrilege is beyond this one's wisdom. It wasn't that Tadali was surprised he left. Anyone could see his paws itched for travel. But to steal from our holy temple? Tadali did not become clan mother of Black Height for holding a grudge. Anyone who seeks to help elsewhere against these terrible dragons deserves our aid. Even if it means dealing with the Dali's treacherous son. You kinda screwed up there. You would think a life devoted to the divines would make Mother a bit more forgiving. Well, uh, what did she say? Zaji had trouble hearing your conversation from the other side of the gate. Stole? That is not the exact word Zaji would use. Regardless, returning it would be... tricky. To purchase the perfect pounce, Zaji sold the bill to the skooma lord, Bahazar the Bull. Said trade involved certain... promises. Zaji happened to mention that the bill could be used to find things, which is entirely true. Of course, uh, this one had no idea how to use the bell in that way. Bazahar was not pleased when he learned this. Murderously so. Zaji has made a point to keep track of Bazahar's movements to avoid a confrontation. For example, he currently hides out in Moonlit Cove. If we want the bell, we'll have to sneak in and steal it back. Moonlit Cove is just south of here, right on the coast. A beautiful place to visit, if you ignore the skooma dealers and the pirates skulking about. It, in Zaji's defense, he stole a lot of things that night. Besides, how was he supposed to know the bell was so important? The temple has so many, he just thought Mother Good were praising. So Mother claims, but how special can one tiny bell be? Zaji thinks she just wants Bruh. to punish him, make him run all over southern elsewhere to prove how sorry he is. And he will, for the Dragon Guard. But that doesn't mean he will like it. The cove's waters are filled with moonlight. Many go to drink from its waters, for its holy properties, you understand. At least they used to. Now, a skooma lord has taken over, laying claim to the sacred water and attacking anyone who enters. Ugh. Bazahar has some harebrained scheme. Probably thinks the moonlit water can be used to make more potent moon sugar, which in turn could make more potent skooma. But what does Zaji know about skooma? <laughs> Less than you might think, yes. No idea. Zaji knows he's there. In somewhere, but Zaji has never gone in for a closer look. We'll just have to do what Zaji does best. Improvise. All right, so now that we have that, let's go get the Sky Shard. Oh. It's at the top.
<laughs> I will find it. The sky shard is out of the way. Oh. Alright, so we'll do that quest later. Right now, we are trying to find the Sky Shard. Alrighty, cool. With that said, I'll see you guys in a bit. Thanks so much for watching.